All right, so a customer brought this um, Asus uh, laptop. This is a X205T. Um, it shows up as X205TA. The keyboard and mouse weren't working, or they aren't working at all. I had to use a USB mouse and keyboard plugged in here uh, to get all of this done. But basically, we go into the drivers from here. You could also go to the ASUS website directly, and then you can get the drivers if you know how to do it that way. But I just searched ASUS uh, X205T. It comes up with the X205TA. Um, we're going to leave it here. Oh, so we have Windows 10 32-bit. And it should be, hopefully after we do the uh, chipset drivers, it'll fix itself, but let's see. Uh, we might also need the ATK package to fix like um, hotkeys. So let's go ahead and try the chipset one first. Let's see if we show all downloads. Um, I guess there's only one chipset thing. So we're gonna have to hope that that's the right one. So we'll click download here. <clears throat> okay, we'll wait for this to download. Looks like it might take a while. There's 84 megabytes. Uh, I guess while we're at it, we'll also download the ATK package because a lot of times the um, shortcut keys up here don't work unless you have that. So. It's loading hopefully the drivers available sometimes these websites and stuff are so old they don't even have the drivers anymore as you can see it just created these untitled pages and it's not actually letting me download so I don't know let's right click open a new window I didn't do anything you can see it has a file there and oh there we go now it's downloading I guess it was just slow cancel one because we only need one of them <clears throat> and we'll just wait for the downloads to finish so it might take a little while oh how many did I download cancel I guess it was just very slow but it's working now and yeah we'll wait for these to download and I'll be back see you guys in a bit okay one thing I forgot to mention if I go down here uh, device manager and I look where is it oh it's this computer so slow there we go and if you take a look here it thinks all the drivers are installed there's no missing drivers so that's what's kind of strange the sound drivers missing as well and hopefully the chipset driver will fix that issue I don't know if I can install the ATK driver without the keyboard working first um, but that one's already almost done downloading, so maybe I'll try that, but let's see if I open this. Okay, it opens the zipped folder. I'm actually going to go back one folder to the downloads and the ATK package. I'll right click and we will say extract all. We will just continue with the extract that should create a folder with the um, zip folder name. Then we can go ahead and run the setup here. Okay, and this one's not done yet. Two more minutes, so hopefully the ATK driver will install. Okay, but uh, I'm not sure what will happen again since it doesn't even have the keyboard working yet. Like if you look here, like nothing happens. The mouse doesn't move. I have to use the external mouse here okay and there we go so this thing popped up smart screen I'm gonna say run <clears throat> I don't need it to check it since it's from the ASUS website and next for everyone next next and ATK, ATK packages being installed and there we go that's done. We'll close that. It needs to restart the computer. We'll just say no to restart later. We'll close that. And this one is still not done yet. So I guess I will see you guys when that's done downloading. All right, so finished. Let's go ahead and open up the chipset one. We're gonna go into the downloads folder, not the chipset. We're gonna right click this. And we're gonna extract all. Okay, extract. 
and we'll let it go. So it might take a little while. And then we'll run the installer and hopefully that will fix the problem. Okay, looks like it's going to take a while, so I'll let it run and I'll see you guys when it's ready. All right, it's just about done, 97%. Wow, this computer is so slow, it took forever for it to get that far. Look how long it's taking to get the last couple percent. There we go. Okay, now we'll run this setup, not this one, not the batch file one. Okay, though I think either one will work. Um, but anyways, we're going to run that one. Okay, we don't need that folder. Next. Accept and agree. Next. Next. You can see Intel Atom processor C3000 series chipset driver being installed. The weird thing with this is the keyboard works perfectly fine in BIOS. If I press F2 and delete on the keyboard while the computer's starting up, I can still get into BIOS. So I know for a fact the hardware is fine and the problem is something with the software. But it's really weird that it doesn't even detect that there's supposed to be a keyboard and mouse connected. So hopefully the chipset driver will fix it. Um, I guess the Windows updates couldn't find the right driver. Uh, if we go to Device Manager, let's see what it shows there. I'm going to close these Windows things, um, the internet browser and stuff, because we don't need all these folders open anymore, right? Yep, let's close them all. OK, let's see what it shows for processor. So it does see the right processor. It's weird that it doesn't detect that it doesn't have the drivers for the chipset. but um. Yeah, I guess we'll let it run, and I'll see you guys when this little progress bar gets to the end. All right, bye for now. All right, so the thing finished, and you can see there's this GPIO button driver thingy. Hopefully, once I restart the computer, oh, what just happened? Hopefully, once I restart the computer, it will fix itself. I guess it's still updating stuff. Oh, yep, okay. So that driver thing fixed itself, and as you can see, it's responding to the touchpad now. What about the keyboard? Oh, okay, perfect. So that fixed it. So it looks like if you're having keyboard and touchpad trackpad issues, you don't need, uh, I guess you'll need a USB one um, initially to get the chipset drivers. And once you get the chipset drivers installed, it looks like problem will be solved. Um, I wonder if I can use the, nope, oh, function key, okay. So the hotkeys do work. You do have to hold the function key, but it looks like I fixed it. So we're going to restart the computer and that should be it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. This model is pretty old, so I don't know who it's going to help, but hopefully it will help some people. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If it helped, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't, um, it'd be grateful. I'd be grateful if you could watch a few of my other videos just to tell YouTube that my channel is um, has useful content and you're willing to watch them. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, one other thing I noticed, the audio is still not working. And also, it doesn't respond to scrolling with two fingers. So, I think we're going to need this Asus Smart Gesture. And we'll probably need the Realtek Audio driver as well. I hope installing those drivers will fix it. It's really weird that it doesn't show it's even missing the driver. Normally, if it's not working right, it will show up in the Device Manager. So, it's very strange that... Um, these drivers missing aren't showing up in the device manager. Oh, I guess there's an unknown one now. So I kind of wonder what that is. Maybe, let's see. Let's right click this guy, go to properties, go to details, change this to hardware IDs. And we got this, or we'll right click and copy that. Let's paste that into here and see what we got. So we'll paste that into Google. <laughs> And it's doing it's loading. I don't know. What do we got downloading here? Do we got both of them or just one? Okay, we got the audio and the smart gesture downloading. 
Uh, we'll see what the search results show. Uh, for now, it's not showing anything. So I'll see you guys when these two downloads are ready to install. And then we'll be back. All right, see you guys then. All right, so I was able to search that. As you can see, it's a Realtek audio driver. So we'll go to the downloads. Okay, let's open the folder this time. And we'll extract the audio one. Okay, and what was the other one? Did I download two? Oops, what did, what's that? Collections, I don't need that. Okay, so we got the smart gesture as well. So we'll right click and extract that as well. All right, the smart gesture one's much faster. So we're gonna click setup here. I guess you can do setup TP driver or setup. Probably either one will work. I'll just try the setup one. Oh, the audio one finished extracting as well. So let's close these. We got the setup for Asus Smart Gestures. We'll go next. Everyone next. Next. Okay. We'll probably have to restart after this installs, but let's see. Almost done. Audio real tech. Guess we'll wait for this one. Okay, done. Close. And it's saying to restart. I'm going to say no. Yep, so it's not responding yet. I'm using two fingers to try and scroll. It's not working. So hopefully, after we restart, the computer it will work. Audio real tech now. Come on, there we go. All right, let's check the folder. I'm so used to scrolling, it didn't let me. Okay, so we got the setup file here. We'll run that one. Okay. Now we'll go to next. And this one down here should change the audio thing eventually. We might have to restart before it will change. <laughs> All right, it's telling me to restart and there you go, it already changed. So we'll, st blah, we'll restart the computer and hopefully the scrolling with two fingers will work. Maybe we have to find the settings somewhere. Oh, I guess let's cancel this. We gotta close this first manually. Okay. All right, now let's restart. And let's hope that solved the issue. I saw the sound thing, so I think we should be good there. And the scrolling, we shall see. It's loading. Hopefully we got all the drivers now. Kind of interesting that this computer doesn't recognize that it's missing drivers until the chipset driver is installed. I guess the chipset driver allows it to use the chipset properly and see what's connected to it. But uh, that's a first. Usually I don't see that happen. Okay. So I think we should be good. I'll probably have to open... Um, a folder and just see what happens if I can scroll on it or not. This computer is pretty slow. Okay, let's open C drive and Windows. And we still can't scroll. Hmm. I'm going to search Smart Gesture if it's in here. Oh, nope, that's just the installer. So maybe it doesn't work in Windows 10. I'm not sure. Um, they have the little thing down here. Let's try and open that and see. 
Okay, we've got the program opening up here. It's not opening quite yet. There we go. Okay, so here, two fingers, scroll, scroll horizontally or vertically, zoom. So it has all these things, but for some reason it's not responding to it. Set all to default. Apply, okay. So, oh, okay, now it's working. I don't know why all of a sudden it's working. Maybe I had to open the Smart Gesture app or program. But yeah, you can see now it's working. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, again, like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if you can, please consider contributing a little to the channel or watch several of my other videos or do all of those things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.